Everybody and welcome to Wahoo Wednesday and today we're going to talk about doing some watercolor cards and I have a special guest with me today so I want y'all to welcome Sarah Harden. Hi. She is the branch manager at the McGee yeah. Library and she's very artistic and that's one of the reasons I invited Sarah to help me with this craft idea. And we're going to show you three different ways that you can make watercolor cards uh, this is a great idea for parents and children to do. Uh, a lot of times, if you're like me, I never have a card ready at home and need to send a card for something and then you're scratching around. And I live in a small town and there's not a lot of options on finding cards to send. But this is a good way to make it a little more personal uh, with children and um, and I just love, always love making homemade cards. Me too. Okay, so glad you're here, Sarah. Mm -hmm. So what, the first thing we're gonna need, and all three of these, we, we're just using plain white cardstock that I cut in half, uh, and then we just folded it in half again. So we're gonna put this up. And the first one, I'm gonna let you have that one. And the first one is a really fun project. And I'm gonna let Sarah show how to do that. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a piece of saran wrap or plastic wrap or any kind of sandwich bag that you have at your house. Mm -hmm. And you'll need color markers. Okay. Now we are using uh, watercolor markers because that's with kids, you want things that wash up, but you don't have to. It can be any color markers you mm -hmm. want. I'm gonna just let Sarah pick out some pretty colors. So, yes. I'll just say the darker usually the better. Kind of okay. shows up some. So, mm -hmm. give me some bright green. colors. So, all you're going to really need for this, like I said, is a piece of cardstock, some markers, saran wrap, and water. Mm -hmm. And that is it. Okay. So, Oops, excuse me. That's all right. So, first thing you're going to do is take your saran wrap. Mm hmm. And I want you to just to mark out and just, just scribble some color in the middle of it or okay. just do some colors. Okay, just scribble some colors. Mm -hmm. Some dark colors here. I like teal and turquoise and amber. I some like of my colors. Favorite colors. I cannot decide. <laughs> I cannot decide. I like jewel tones. Yes. And let's try this light color and All see right. how it that works. Seems good. Okay. I'll put something right there in that little middle. Yes. Um, yeah. so we'll here. Oh, orange. Yes. Okay. Here we go. All right. Okay. And then what I have learned is you want to take your little spray bottle. Okay. And just mist your colors. Mm -hmm. Get it a little wet. Alright. There you go. That's probably oh. ready. And then you're gonna flip it over on your paper and a or do we just, can we just put it down like that? Oh or? yeah, look how smart you are. Oh, no. But now because you're gonna smear it. So okay. Let's, let's um, uh, put your paper here mm -hmm. and turn it over if you can without us getting it on ourselves. You're gonna be good. I'm not you're gonna that do it. good at yeah. keeping and them just clean. With your fingers, you just want to spread. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Spread it out and and when you think you got it good, you're gonna mm. just lift it up. Okay. All right, we're gonna lift it up and it's still a little oh, wet. So take, cool. take a paper yeah. towel and let's just blot it gently. Mm -hmm. And let it dry. And you can see it kind of, it might curl up a little bit. So you can, after it dries, you can put it between some heavy books to let it go back down flat. Get that loose water off but, of yes. it. Yes, so, and see how pretty. Now, Sarah's a lot more creative I, than I am. So she actually uh, wrote on her cards. So pick one of your cards up there. And did, yeah. I just, you know, decorated it with gel pens and paint, or paint pens. I'm not that creative. I just like to doodle. <laughs> I think she's creative. I think she did a good job. I am not so much, so I use a silhouette machine or a cricket machine or anything you want to actually put letters on there. 
for yourself. So we just did those. Mm -hmm. And you can use stencils. I mean, you know, you can actually just buy and get some stencils. Yeah. People have stencils laying around. Look at that little piece of water right there where you want to get it. So that was our first one that we're gonna that we did. Hope you like that. All right, for our second one, the kids will really like this. And this is um, this is done with you'll need a piece of cardboard, your cardstock, and uh, just uh, I'm using watercolors, just kids' watercolors. And I took some freezer tape and just kind of covered up the middle like this. So Sarah gets to have all the fun today. So Yay. you can tape it down, or if you want to have more of a clean border on the sides, or you can just let it be free mm -hmm. flowing like that. Okay, so. So what you're gonna do is you get your paint you need set. Wet our watercolor. Yep, give me the spray bottle. I think we're through with that one. Okay. Tray yes. over here. Okay. Give me a paper towel to block my paintbrush. Okay, so I say we do a fall. Oh, cool. Yes, I need this. Brown. I think that's brown. Get that a little wet and get some red going. Now, found with you do need these uh, for this one particularly. Mm -hmm. Your color is very wet. They need a lot of water on them because you're going to be doing some big droplets. Okay. Uh, so you want plenty, right. plenty of water. Okay, I'm going to try brown here. Okay. So, so you want to make a big spot with your color. I mean, so get you a little more on there. Yeah, you're doing good. Really get you some more. And then you're going to take a straw. Mm -hmm. You have your little straw, and you want to blow your colors around. Get way down. There you go. Really spread it out. Oh, that was a good one. <laughs> I blew all the color off. Yeah, but it'll dry, so let's do some more colors. Okay. But you can see from this, you can just really make them go any direction you want to go. Mm hmm I need some more water here. There we go. Get some orange. Okay. Yeah, there we go. I'm not sure how this would work with acrylics. Uh, I didn't try it, but uh, I'm, I think you could maybe add some uh, acrylic thinner and that would go. That was pretty. Yes, I That was really pretty. Okay. Let's do so, and I can already see the front of this card saying, Happy Fall, y'all. Mm. <laughs> yeah, you might want to put a little um, Insta picture in there. Yeah. You could do this for kids for a program and then have them glue their picture on the front mm -hmm. of it. So. so, yeah, and you can just turn your page any way you want. Okay. So. I said you could take that down. We just didn't today, yeah. but I'm gonna do one more. I don't know what color. Green. Mm -hmm. okay. Well, green's not really fall, Sarah. Well, there's a little green in fall. There's still some green. Evergreens. We still have Skull evergreens. Okay. Our pines and cedars are still around. Oh yeah, that looks good. I think the kids really get a kick out of doing this one together. Mm -hmm. uh, it does look it like it's very like artist splatters and stuff. So mm -hmm. just use imagination. And then really, if you get around the edges and then when you peel off your, uh, this is like freezer tape or painter's tape. And then you have a really nice clean surface in the middle that you can write your message mm -hmm. to. So you'll want to do that. I'm gonna just. It could be used as a like Halloween invitation mm -hmm. or whatever. Yeah. Oh, definitely a birthday party. See okay. that? Yeah. Yes. It needs to dry a little it bit. It is a dry. So let's um, blot it. Blot those wet spots too, so we don't get it. Okay. So do that. All right. We have one more to show you that I hope is going to work. <laughs> so we'll move that card. And this is. Um, Mm -hmm. So if you want, why don't you just turn your card over here, your okay. cardboard over. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna let that one dry. Okay. All right, now this is one that we do with salt water, because the salt water will interact a little bit with the paint and it's gonna make it a little different. So we're going to, let me 
Have a freezer tape. Let's take that down just a little bit so it doesn't move so much. Ooh, what colors do I want to use? It's just whatever you feel like doing today. So many to choose from. I know. But yeah, this will be a perfect for your child if they have a birthday party to go to and they can really specialize a card that they made their self. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I always loved making homemade cards for my parents. And my mother's one of these people that actually still keep cards like that. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's funny to go back and see things that you've created when you were a kid or not so kid. I was still doing it while I was married and had kids. <laughs> I was going this weekend, actually. So there you go. All right, so, so what you're gonna do is, um, right, you're gonna just put a big blob, I'm gonna, I'll, that's the salt water. And put it on there? Mm -hmm. Put you a little blob right mm -hmm. there and then get your color. And mm -hmm. it's supposed to spread like a... Uh, Ooh, there it went. Yeah, we might've got a little too much. Uh, with, yeah. Let's do it with, let me try it with my finger. That's okay. how I did it. I just kind of swirled around some salt water. Okay. And try another color and let's see what that does. See if it'll really try to get a bunch of. Let me see where I did. No, I did it right in there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. There we go. It's like little spears. I don't know if y'all can see that very well, but we'll get another picture of that. Mm hmm. The salt kind of takes This is what we actually did earlier. It just kind of spreads out on its own. And uh, the kids can just be creative with it however mm -hmm. they want. Yeah, be a lot of fun. So we hope uh, you enjoyed these ideas and we'll let your creativity go crazy. Uh, this is, especially when we've got some rainy weather, uh, it's a good indoor project to do at home with kids. You can make some ahead of time so that if something comes up, you're prepared already. So, mm -hmm. well, I thank you, Sarah, for being with us today. I'm glad to have you and your creativity and we'll see y'all Next time, from now on, we're going to not do Wahoo Wednesday every week. We're going to do the first and thir third uh, Wednesday of the month. Uh, it's just getting a little hectic time of year, so uh, we're going to slow down just a little bit. Uh, but we'll thank see you. you on the next Wahoo Wednesday. Thank you, Judy. All right. Thank you. Bye.